Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'll be unboxing and showing you guys Exo's Venomous Series helmet, which I ordered from Amazon. So before entering today's video, like this video, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel and push the notification bell so you never miss out on any future videos. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. So guys, this is the box and it came just like this. You know those grey colored Amazon polythenes or Amazon box. Just a transparent wrap around the whole helmet. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Here is the helmet. You can see in the front full face exo helmet written and the branding, the logo of this. And this side, nothing much, just about the websites. And on this side is actually a few important instructions about the helmet, like the price. I'll just read it real quick. So the model is actually Exo Apex Venomous and the color which I ordered is black and blue. And the size of this helmet is actually what made a reason for me to buy this because I am a guy who had a 62 centimeters of head length. So I need a helmet of the size XL and different brands I did, but they were available only in L size, which is 60 centimeters. So I found this out on the internet and I saw that it's really good. Saw a bunch of reviews on video review videos on YouTube as well and yeah that's why I ordered this so let's see if this fits in my head I hope so so the price on the box is around 4,994 rupees including all the taxes and on the bill of the Amazon it says 4,942 so around roughly 50 rupees less than what's on this anyways Here's our knife. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we get inside. Yep, so we open this up. And the first thing which I'm able to see is, let's take this out and show you guys as well. So, let's do that real quick. This, a carrying bag in which the helmet is and i kind of loved the color scheme of the bag as well like gray with neon orange strips everywhere you got the big x here and in front exo i think is it upside down yep exo helmets so inside this is the helmet so let's open this up and see our helmet so Jesus crap look at the paint job of the helmet That's some nice glossy finish. I liked it. So, a few things beneath. We talk about everything in this video, don't worry. But first, a packet of silica gel to just keep the inner foam dry. Because yeah, that's a drying agent. As I know in chemistry, not much, but yeah, whatever. So now, First of all, we'll check out what this is for, and what these things contain. Actually, just make sure we won't cut the wrap strap on the first day of unboxing. So this is a plug bag, airtight. There are, I, I can see three stickers and a wiser or a spoiler kind of thing. So let's open this up. So, first things first, exo helmet the sticker of the brand itself 
second thing is pretty interesting and it is reflective stickers it's like this would be much more useful for bikers like we generally ride in nights so you can stick it on your bike or those places which on which generally the lights come from the vehicle who is behind or in the front so these reflective stickers would be much useful you can stick it on the helmet as well so this and the third and the most interesting thing or the interesting sticker i would say is this guy so you got all generalized blood groups here with a sticker and also a big sticker which says in case of an accident do not remove the helmet unless you are a doctor or a medical assistant assist actually so this could be very useful in case of a crash because you know it's recommendable that if you are in a crash don't remove a helmet until unless and until you have reached the doctor because in case of a bleeding it could much more bleed out if you remove the helmet and yeah that's a case i think so and generalized like you can stick your blood group i am all positive by the way so these are the three stickers and what a spoiler where does it go oh it goes here here let's quickly snap this on as you can see there are like two holes here and just quickly snap these guy on a clean look as you can see not so big not so you know i don't know <laughs> jk buddy so now i can see there is another thing inside and this one by the way is a bigger spoiler for the helmet like i snapped on a smaller one but there is a bigger one as well so i removed the smaller uh smaller spoiler i would say this is a spoiler this is back side of a car and now i'll install the bigger one right so this is the bigger one but before installing this i want to show you a few things first of all there are two these holes just to cope with the smaller one here and with the bigger one as well it's the same distance now here are two small holes as well if you want to fit the smaller one these two ends would go inside of these holes if you want to fit the bigger one here are these two holes one is here and the other one is here right so i'll just fix the bigger one and let's check out how this actually looks so i finished fitting the bigger spoiler and i would say it was a work a hard work to do and i would say now this looks much more better than the smaller spoiler actually but you know it's on your preference whichever you like of course for sure now let's talk about the wiser first of all so it's a clear visor as you can see and the mechanism to remove the visor is quite simple as well right. just pull this down and remove this whole thing up so guys literally after trying for five minutes i gave up if you are a noob like me please don't try opening a visor you can damage it or break it and this would cost you around 1200 rupees because there's some features in this visor as well i'll tell you everything which i personally know so first of all let's start with the visor as we started this so this is a clear visor from exo as you guys can clearly see now what's special about this visor is that it is an anti-fog visor so inside of this there is a layer of some sort of protection which won't let fog form when you are driving or your car ah uh, actually your bike pardon please so here is the anti-fog sheet i don't know if you want to remove this or not let's we'll just figure it out later 
And the most satisfying thing which you can do while unboxing a new thing is this. And this is the cover for the fog sheet. I'll just quickly remove this as well from the inside. It's like a cell tape or something. So this is how it looks from the inside. I'll just quickly close this up. So this is how the helmet looks with the clear visor. But I would recommend if you have a bit more budget, just go and buy those rainbow visors that would look much more better on this color scheme and graphics. So talking about the second visor, yeah, it comes with two visors. Second visor, you can operate it from here. So this is gonna be, this just drops this. There's also film over this. So I'll just remove that real quick. Yep, here it is. Remove that as well. So now this is clean. So now, the visor, it's an anti-fog visor and uh, the mechanism here. It's pretty tough. I won't say it's very easy. I mean, I didn't find that easy. If you should find them, that's good, actually. Now let's talk about the vents and a few more features about the covering of the helmet. So as you know, the paint job, excellent. Like, I don't know how you guys are seeing this, but in person, it feels literally very premium. So two vents over the eyes, one and two here, as you can see. And in the middle is a uh, Exo X the mark or the logo of the brand here it's not of metal it's of plastic but coated in silver color like aluminum foil or something like that it's of that color if you want references now there's a vent beneath here as well right and then there's this lock if I just open this up, yeah, this is now open. And if I push it further, it's a lock here. So you just, you can just lock your visor in place. Now, talking about the back, a little vent here, not these big, because I show you in the beginning how small those vents are, actually, because it covers this one, this border as well. So not, bo not very big, but a decent size, like small size, I would say. Now, I will show you the internals of this. As you guys can see, chin guard, you know. There is a special setup inside so you can fit your mic intercom as well on this helmet pretty nicely and easily. So this is the internals and everything is removable and washable as well. So if you want a daily care maintenance or daily, uh, regular maintenance on this helmet, you can just easily remove those foams and wash those. And other thing is this right here, a nose guard. This is made of silicone, like pretty flexible. And this vent can also be closed. I just figured it out. So this is closed, this is open, pretty nice and decent. Now the most important thing which I would like you guys to see is this. It is ECE and DOT certified helmet. Now for those people who don't know what DOT actually represents is it is actually United States Department of Transportation logo. Like in India we have ISI marked helmets. Those are pretty good but this is DOT certified helmet. So it's basically certified by United States. I don't know that would be different from India or not, but hey, it was just written. So I just showed it to you guys, right? So now let's talk about the locking mechanism. Just pretty complicated. Oh, it's like complicated as trigonometry or something, eh? Yeah, it's pretty complicated. So these pieces are metal here. Okay. 
both. So this is known as a double D lock, which is pretty secure, but very complicated on first hand because like um, I usually wear the helmet which has a clip mechanism. Like you just slide it in just like a seat belt and you're done, you're good to go. But, but in here you need to play some, give you, you need to give some time to just tangle the whole thing together and then lock it up. It's pretty secure, but at the same hand, time consuming as well. But, you know, rather wasting two minutes on securing the helmet than just, you know, wasting your one week in a hospital. Why on earth would I give that comparison? So, let's just wear this up and see how this goes. Or how this fits me, because that's the only question. So guys, this is very 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 nice fit like i only know how i did this but yeah this was only because of my cheek fat by the way after wearing this it's it don't feel that much heavy or it doesn't feel very very you know congestive this it just it just feels like how a helmet actually should be and i just show you one thing first let's check the visor nice pretty good now i'll show you one thing so now guys i'm gonna close this visor and i'm gonna blow a bit of air on this visor and let's see if the fog still forms or uh, it actually works so let's go So as you saw guys, the fog was only being uh, formed on the edges where there is no this uh, fog protection shield or something like that. So it was forming only on the edges where there is no, but uh, the, it was not forming in front of my vision. So I get a clear vision when I'm driving any two wheeler vehicle. So at the end, it's pretty good. Like it is actually working properly. I can feel safe like if I just fall or if I met into an accident it would be pretty safe for me actually so I just go I just show you guys how it looks from the side so this is how it looks from the side and from the other side as well and from the back it looks like this all right so i'll just quickly remove this and after that i'll just share the conclusion with you guys so at the end i'll just tell you guys that this helmet is actually of very good quality and it's not it doesn't weigh much like if you go for long rides as well it won't feel that you are wearing something very heavy and uh, at the end i would just only say a few words that um, i think you should not consider a budget when it's all about your safety like i literally don't mean that you would just go and buy a goddamn fifty thousand rupees helmet no but you can at least spend five thousand on your safety if you ride a bike obviously now there are many helmets who come in range of like 600 700 rupees few mid-range thousand two thousand three thousand this type of helmets five thousand there are a few much better helmets like i don't think this is worse i think it's very very great for bikers who actually ride on the range of like 100 or 150 because this will at least save you like those 600 700 helmets won't save you from any accident or something like that right so what i'm telling is that at least you should go for a helmet which properly protects you while a accident happens because that's what helmet is helmets are purposed for right so at the end for my side this helmet is very nice for my personal opinion the things which i don't actually liked is the first one is the process of removing the visor it feels like it could be much more smoother than how it is right now the second one the second thing which i don't like about this helmet is personally for me 
that uh, double D lock, the lock which is there beneath this, right here. I think most people in India or anywhere in the world, they just simply think that it should be very quick, right? I know that double D locks are very secure, but I personally don't found it much, much more than just a normal lock, right? And it is definitely secure. It is going to be. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to say is that most of the people don't know how to lock or unlock or how to use a double D lock, right? I also don't know properly. I'll be searching YouTube videos for this. So it's not a con or something like that. It's just that it makes me feel un uncomfortable from the start. Uh, in the starting because like after I be starting wearing this I'll be wearing this helmet like once a week twice a week and I'll just get used to it uh, As the time passes and that's obviously going to be the case for every one of you guys Now this doesn't make means that you just don't need to buy this helmet like if it fits in your budget Obviously go for this. There are many color options as well. I'll be uh, showing you a few colors option on the screen and to buy this helmet, I have the link in the description box below. So you can go and check it out. And if you like, and if you have your favorite color option available as well, just order it up because this would be very, very nice. Now on that note, I'll just tell you a few much more things which I very much liked about the helmet. Starting with the foam quality. The internal foam quality is excellent, top notch. Second thing is the anti-fog visor which they gave in the stock helmet as well. Now anti-fog visor really really helps in weathers where it's like raining, winters or in general scenarios as well. Like it could lead to a much bigger disaster if there is foam on your visor while you're driving, right? And the third thing which I really really liked about the helmet is that it doesn't feel much very very heavy as i said earlier but the paint job on this helmet is excellent i would say that the detail the quality the shine everything is top notch everything is top notch i would say that and that's the excellent thing which i found about this helmet and that's also the reason people usually buy these kind of helmets just by seeing their paint scheme right so that was the review of this helmet on that note thank you very much for watching this video till end and uh, i'll see you in my next one till then take care guys